Hey guys, welcome back to Schoolhouse Beer and Brewing's Grains to Glass. I'm Thomas Monty. We've been doing this journey for a while, and today we're actually going to uh, follow up on our last one, which was grain teas. You guys really like that video, um, uh, and if you haven't seen it, click up here and it'll send you over there. Uh, and always subscribe, bottom right corner, just hit our little, uh, our little icon down there, Schoolhouse Beer and Brewing. But today we're going to be looking at water. Yeah, water profiles. Water is a very important thing about brewing. Um, we get a lot of guys that come into the, the shop all the time and say, hey, I need to adjust my water. What do I need to do? Well, it's a little bit more difficult than that. So what we're going to do is going to give you the tools to actually set up a water profile for your water in your area, um, where to get that information, how to put it in Beersmith, and then how to use Beersmith to actually tell you exactly what you need to do when you're adding it to different kinds of beers. Well, here we go, and let's have some fun. Okay, guys, so this is not the most electrifying video that you could ever watch. There's gonna be a lot of screenshots. So if I'm looking down, it's me working on my computer. However, what we're gonna do first is show you where to get your water profile from. Your water profile, you might be able to get from your local water source, but I like to take, get it straight from the tap where I'm brewing or really close to where I'm brewing. So the first place we're gonna go is um, Ward's Laboratories. Ward's Laboratories um, specializes in a lot of uh, agricultural needs, but if you go to the bottom, uh, right to, maybe not that far to the bottom, right there, order brewer's kit, you'll see that you can order a brewer's kit. And it's pretty simple, it's the 5A. It, uh, if you get their bottle and everything, it's like $40. Um, I would definitely suggest it. So when you send it in, what they're gonna do is send you back an email copy of your water profile. And as you see here, my water profile um, is for schoolhouse. And um, it'll give you your sodium, your potassium, your calcium, your magnesium, your hardness of the water, your nitrates, your sulfates, your chlorides, your carbonates. And we're gonna go into that really quick, but I definitely think you, could, you should do this. And it would be something that if you have a home brew club, something you guys could go in together if you live in certain areas close to each other, something that you guys can chip in on. Um, we do it at our home brew club. We've done it. Um, I share this out with everybody in our neighborhood. So now what we need to do is actually show you how to do this in Beersmith. Beersmith is an extremely powerful program. Um, and I really do, really, really do like Beersmith. Um, it is probably the most useful tool that you can have. Yes, there's some on the internet that are free. Uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about Brewers Friends. This though, I'm telling you to have it all in one place. It saves it. It's really simple. So the first thing we're gonna do is we would go to insert and we're gonna add water profile. Well, all you have to do is put your name in there. You put uh, Marietta, that's where we are, Marietta, Georgia. Um, and you would take those numbers for the calcium, the magnesium, where you got it off of here and you would just plop them right on in here. Well, I've already done that. So once you've done it, you'll go to profiles, I'm sorry, tools, and go to water profile tool. And as you can see here, you've got your base water. Now, there's a lot of base bases that you can start with. They've already got them pre-built into the software, but we added ours and I added it in as, as uh, Marietta. We've got calcium, magnesium, sodium, uh, SO4, uh, sulfate, sorry, chlorine, and HCO3 is your bicarbonates. I don't even remember what all these are. I do have a degree in um, chemistry, but I mean, a degree in physics, but I, I don't even remember what a lot of this stuff does. All I really want to know is what I need to do to get to where I'm going. Um, so then I shoot down here and I go to, let's say I'm doing a hoppy, Actually, no. You go to target profile 
and I'm going to change that to Hoppy, Pale Ale, and press OK. Then I'm going to match the target profile. So when I click that, it's going to show me exactly what I need to add. If you see right here, the gypsum, my table salts, if I need any table salts, if I, um, so if I add 7.2 grams of gypsum to five gallons of my mash or my five gallon, um, uh, what I'm going to be using, this will tell us, this is how much calcium I have in here. If I add gypsum, that's how much I'm going to have. And with all of these different chemicals, this is where you end up with. Now, gypsum. Gypsum de decreases your pH. But it also um, can give you a more hoppy profile because what you're doing is with the gypsum, your, uh, your sulfate levels are going up. So your perceived hoppiness of that goes up. Interesting. That's water profiling. Um, table salts. Don't need any because for my sodium, if you see, I uh, need to be between 0 and 150. I'm perfect for a hoppy pilsner. They're looking for 25. We're at 30. The difference is 5. That is negligible and that's parts per million. So that's really negligible um, as long as you, you keep it here. Um, your, your Epsom salts, your table salts um, is your sodium chloride. You can do that for your gozas and everything like that. Your Epsom salt, um, perceived increased hop characteristic. I just said that. And that's going to increase the SO4 also. Your calcium chloride um, is going to give you a little bit more malty of a flavor. It's going to increase the malts, but the chlorides is your perceived maltiness and your calcium, like I said, it lowers your pH. So we're getting two different things going on here and these chemicals will play together. Baking soda. Um, you can also use carb uh, calcium carbonate in this uh, area also. Calcium carbonate is used for, uh, you can buy it at your home brew shop. Gypsum, you can buy it at your home brew shop. Um, your uh, table salt, your Epsom salt, your baking soda. Um, you know, baking soda, I wouldn't really use. Personally, I use the calcium uh, carbonate because it does go well. And then chalk, um, that's also calcium carbonate. So if you add it that much calcium carbonate in, um, you would be completely fine. Then, as you can see here, if you go to a recipe, I go to add to my recipe. I'm going to add a recipe real quick. And I'm just going to say a test. We'll call it test. And I'm going to add water. I'm going to add Marietta water. Okay. And we're going to actually add it will increase because it's going to tell us exactly how much we need, but um, you can add all of those water profile chemicals that you need and you already have it in your recipe. Now, if you don't want to pay for Beersmith, which I definitely think you should, it's a great program. Um, you can go over to beersmith.com. It's like $27. They usually have it on sale. It's a great Great tool. Um, if you got a brewing buddy, once again, you can skip it. There is um, some online that you can use. Uh, Brewers Friends. The, the downside to Brewers Friends is uh, it doesn't save it. You have to type it in every single time. And their target profiles are very limited, as you can see here, versus when you go into Beersmith um, target profiles they're all over the place. You can see. Uh, another thing that you could actually do is um, ask somebody from all over the United States, we all have them, that are brewing other places. Great way to uh, get that going also. So basically, that is your water profile. Um, how to do that. Uh, gypsum, once again, is to decrease pH. Your table salt is your chloride. 
you're going to you're going to do you're going to um, take care of a little bit of that that's for your gozas or if you need a little bit of salt in your water let's say you have soft water you can harden it up a little bit epsom salt increased hop characteristics calcium chloride is your maltiness baking soda or calcium carbonate increases ph and once again the chalk is the calcium carbonate don't go and get some crayola sidewalk chalk and try to sh shed it in there um that uh that right there is basically what you need to know about your your brewing profiles um if you've got any more questions please let me know and we will uh hook you up as we always say drink local enjoy it don't forget to, sub to subscribe or watch any one of our other videos uh the next one we're going to be doing is hop teas you love the grain teas we're going to do hop teas next all right, cheers.